You are watching SGTV, socially good television. Welcome to Eggers. My name is Glenn Gillespie, chef and owner of Eggers Restaurant located at a beautiful Good Park Golf Course in Akron, Ohio. I'm really proud to be part of this establishment. Been here for eight years. We have a great staff and even better clientele. I always tell our clientele, I think we get the most diverse clientele in Northeastern Ohio. We have older people, younger people, white, black, they all kind of come together with the melting pot along with the type of food that we serve too as well. Today we'll be preparing the dish, Hawaiian sea bass. This week we got our fish flown in from Hawaii. So, I mean, you can't get any fresher fish than that. We got it in next day air. And Hawaiian sea bass is pretty much considered one of the top flavorful fish that come out of Hawaii for the Pacific Ocean. We're gonna be pan searing it today. It's gonna be served with potato pinwheels, locally sourced arugula, which is gonna be tossed a little lemon, extra virgin olive oil with julienne onion and grape tomatoes. And this dish is finished off with a peculiar but flavorful vinaigrette. We're doing a prickly pear vinaigrette. For those that you know, don't know what prickly pear is, prickly pear is a fruit which comes off a cactus. Very flavorful, sweet. So this dish kind of summation is of all the flavors of Hawaii, a little bit of Southwestern influence to it as well. And sit back and relax and enjoy the presentation. What you want to do anytime when you're pan searing fish is make sure the pan is nice and hot. You want to season everything that you cook with too as well. So we season with kosher salt. Kosher salt has a bigger grain on it so you're going to have a little more flavor. And we also season both sides. Very important. And then also when you're pan searing you want to make sure that you put the skin side up. So this will be the side that the skin is on, as you can see. So this will be the presentation side. So you want to put the skin side up with the flesh side down. Throw it in a hot pan. You always want to put the fish away from you. So you don't splatter the fat back on you. Because if you throw a piece of fish in this way, and you splatter hot grease on you. You don't want to do that. So you get a nice hot saute pan. This fish is nice to cook with because you can see as it cooks, it's almost like lobster or shrimp. It begins to turn white as it cooks. So you kind of want to move it around. This is how we do it in the restaurant. You see that nice color? And that color is beautiful. So once we get that nice beautiful color, we throw it in a high oven. You kind of want to sear all sides to it. Kinda allows the fish to cook quicker and plus it seals in all the moisture as well when you sear all the sides. This is a great product to work with because like I said as you cook it you see it actually cooking. Then what we do is throw that in a 450 degree oven. We put that in the oven for approximately 10 minutes. After about seven minutes, I kind of like mine mid-rare. So I go mid-rare to medium. After seven minutes, you want to take it out of the oven, let it rest, and we have all our mise en place ready for our salad. This is our potato pinwheel. We place this in the bottom of the... This right here, like I said, you want to add some crispiness in, the, in your dish. We have locally sourced watercress. It's a great dish right here. It's grown locally hydroponically grown, see the freshness of it. So what we do, it's been washed and clean, dry. We take this product, break it off, throw it in our bowl, we squeeze a little fresh lemon juice in it. We want to put your hands here and catch the seeds. That way you don't have seeds into the product. Always season your product with a little salt. We use, again, coarse ground black pepper. And then we also, this is what we call our mise en place. You want to have all your products already kind of ready. This is our garnish, this is our oregano that we grew. We have sliced Spanish onions and grape tomatoes. 
we toss that in a little salad. Then we also throw in a little extra virgin olive oil. To me, there's nothing better than extra virgin olive oil and lemon. A lot of times when we cook the foods, you want that food to be simple, flavorful, and fresh. We use some of the best olive oils that are around. We mix these two ingredients together, let them rest a little. Take our fish for our presentation. Place it on top of our crispy potato. And we take our salad mixture. Toss it together with the lemon extra virgin olive oil and seasonings. Place this on top of the fish. Another thing we like to do too, we try to have our customers eat healthy things. So we don't put too much, we don't cook with a lot of additives or butters and creams. We can do it if you want it, but pretty much all our features are pretty much try to be health oriented. And we had a great vinaigrette. This is a prickly pear vinaigrette, which we see the beautiful purple color, prickly pears. We take this and drizzle this around the plate. Now look at that, great flavor, great color. It's the thing what you want to do in the summertime. We want to eat healthy, light, refreshing food. And we take our garnish of oregano, kind of matches the prickly pear color. We throw that in there. Voila. I would especially like to thank Socially Good Television. Appreciate them coming out and doing a piece on us. And I hope to see you soon at Eggers and come out and enjoy one of our featured dish. Thank you. Thank you for watching SGTV, Socially Good Television. Visit sociallygoodtv.com and remember to share this video.